So this is how things are transpiring. This is how I am preparing to go to the mailbox today. I have a package that I had ordered from a friend and after the package was sent towards me, the friend's son came down with all the symptoms of that unmentionable. So my game plan is to glove up, mask up, be ready when I come back, um, and to put the package with some Lysol in the bigger Ziploc bag and seal it. And then put it in a non-reachable area in the heat for an indisclosed amount of time. And then I will remove the gloves and put them in the smaller Ziploc bag and seal that to discard or put somewhere to burn. Then I'll come back and alcohol down, hand wash, bleach everything that I've touched and go from there. That's a 91% alcohol. So that's how I plan to proceed today. For the sake of keeping from cross-contaminating, I will not be videoing the steps that I'm taking as I'm handling the goods. Uh, I'm just going to tell you before and after the fact. I can tell you it totally sucks to have to come to your own mailbox with gloves and Lysol in hand. So the package I expected has arrived. I'm going to spray that and let it sit for about 10 minutes. I put, I put the object in the bag and saturated with Lysol and we'll seal it. I've removed everything from the mailbox and then saturated it with Lysol and I'm going to seal it shut. I've placed the contaminated items, gloves and mask, in a zippered bag and sealed that. And then I've sprayed myself my hands with Lysol and I'm going to wipe down my steering wheel and things and go back to the house and sanitize with soap, Clorox, etc. I placed the items from the mailbox in the very back of my truck under the hole. It's very hot back there. It'll remain there for, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure how long. I know that some places say 14 uh, days. I know what it is. It's nothing urgent that needs to be done. The other pieces of paper mail that were in the mailbox with it, I have sprayed with Lysol and just kind of glimpsed at and I'll discard those. Uh, one was a water bill and then junk mail. So um, I'll just keep in mind what the water bill is. I'm not gonna save that piece of paper. It's not worth it. So anyway, that's how I've handled today's mail. So after I did all the precautionary washings and put the package in direct sunlight for a little while and then I'll put it in a, back in the hole of my truck probably or somewhere locked up where nobody's gonna handle it for a long time. I came and got as hot of a shower as I could, put the clothes I had on in the washer with hot water and laundry sanitizer. And my final step is gold Listerine. Even though I had a mask on, um, I'm just doing any precaution I can think of. And you may think that's overkill, but I've got an 81 year old bed patient here. And so I have to look out for her. So if you have any other suggestions, put them in the comments and let me know what you think. Uh, you can think I'm overreacting, that's okay. Um, I'm doing what I feel is nece necessary. <laughs> what is a necessity to protect my mom?